Sis, can you please explain your reasoning of bringing me out here in the middle of the desert? Oh, you'll see. Sis, we've been walking here for three hours. I just want to know what was the reason for us coming here in the first place. I said, you'll see. Just keep on following me. <sighs> this The walk better been worth it, you know. Alright, we're here, brother. Now, this is our new home. And my base of operation. Seriously, sis? You brought me all the way out here for an RV. Yeah, you see, after I lost my job, I decided to go into more illegal kinds of ways to make money. And what's that? You, wait, don't tell me. You've been making drugs. Nope. I've been making something much more beneficial to everyone. And what could that be? Rock candy. I've been making rock candy. Wait a minute, I thought that was, Ill that was illegal in, in FNAF plush land. Well, I've been doing it, and I've been getting away with it. Yeah, but... But King DeLorean outlawed rock candy. Only the certain kind. Yes, and it's... But how is that not illegal? Look, it's only illegal if I get caught. And so far, I haven't got caught yet. So, it's not illegal. Yeah, but how much has Fox really been paying you? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What? Like, how much has he been paying you for you to afford this RV? Who says I even bought it in the first place? I only found this RV in somebody's trash, so I just decided to get to take it. Because I don't think they were going to use it anyways. Come on, I'll show you inside. And also, if once you go inside, I suggest that you take off any shoes, because this place might be infested with fleas, and I just really want them to bite your feet. Wait, infested with fleas? Okay, now I do want to keep my shoes on. Okay, suit yourself. Alright, bro, so this is where I make the, the candy. Wait a minute, sis, so you've been telling me that you've been selling drugs. No, 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 not drugs. I've been selling rock candy. Yeah, whatever it's called. You've been selling rock candy behind Albert's back. Um, no, not technically behind his back. Like, he does know that I've been selling rock candy. I just only agreed. To, he only agrees to shut his mouth because I, I agreed to give him half of my profits if he shuts his mouth. Um, okay. See, I'm making a specific kind of rock candy. One that's, that is outlawed by the king himself. Why is it outlawed by the king? I don't know, but he thinks he, because it looks like meth. Like crystal meth. That's probably why he outlawed it. Or maybe because it hurt his teeth once. Yeah, who cares about that? So this is gonna be how we live our lives now. Yes, hopefully we could become successful to get our own TV show. Alright then. Alright, bro, let's start cooking. Okay, I'm pretty certain I know how to do this. Like, I, I've cooked stuff before, so um, I think I could get the hand of making some rock candy. Alright then, let's see if I can do it. Alright, sis, I made the rock candy that you wanted. Here you go. Alright, let me see. Hmm. Hey, what the hell? Rock candy. I want you to make me rock candy, not croissants. Like, that's literally shit. Make me rock candy. And don't come to me until you make it right. Look, fine, I will. Alright, sis, I finally made some rock candy, and I hope that you like it. Hmm. Yo, that rock candy is blue. It look, almost looks like Heisenberg. Alright, let me take a step. That was amazing. We need to make more of these. We're going to be rich, brother. We're going to, we need to make so much rock candy. Like, 
Hey, we just need to make more. We just need to make more. Um, all right, sis. I just, I was surprised that you liked it that much. Look, I'm telling you once, I'm telling you again. I do not know where they are. I'm just as worried as where they ran off to, just as much as you. Um, sir, he could be lying to you. Lying? I've been telling the truth and nothing but the truth. Like, I do not know where they are. I'm telling you this. I do not know where they are. Oh, but we just asked you one simple question. Where are they? Look, I've been telling you this for minutes now. I do not know where they are. And if in the next time you ask, the answer is still gonna be no, because I do not know anything. But you know, I have something to tell you guys. I want to sue T.T. Thompson. For what? Defamation. Slander. He was the, the reason my son almost committed suicide. But look, he has the right to say those things. Look, T.T. Thompson can swing his fist wherever he wants to, but that right for him to swing his fist ends when it hits the tip of my nose. Well, technically under law, like, you don't have any right. So it's you're related to those two delinquent. So first, Chu can't sue T.T. Thompson because of her relations to my son, even if he, she broke up with him. And I can't either. God, what rights do we have now? Look, Lobbit, your kids are summoned to stand trial in two days. And if you don't find them in 20, 48 hours, then you and Team Fazbear's will all be arrested. Look, my kids have been improving right until T.T. Thompson starts slandering them. And the intelligentsia started, like, starting a hate smear campaign against them. And those two have been fucking us over for over a week. I seriously cannot catch a break f from those two. I have to deal with Toyo and Tosuki, but still. Lobbit, listen. If you don't find Toyo and Tosuki, then you and Team Fazbear's will all be arrested. Look, unless you have specific charges to, to like, put against us, you can't do anything. Like, you can't just arrest a bunch of people for not cooperating. Well, technically we can. We're part of the government. Still, that doesn't give you the power to arrest anyone who you want. And fine, I will do your dirty work. Just let you know, I'll come back with Toyo and Tosuki and evidence to prove that they should have rights just as much as anyone else does. <sighs> like there's any such thing. Somewhere in the same desert they were before. Is this you sure this is the place? Yeah, this is where my friend would meet, up, meet, meet me up here. So I can get from the rock candy and he can sell it. And he can give me some money. Hello, Toyo. We meet again. Yes. So I decide. So I got this new type of rock candy. It's blue, just like Heisenberg. So hopefully you can like up the price for the rock candy. I'm um, actually. We have other plans, boy. Who even are these queers? We fight for the existence of our people and a future for white children. As the beauty of our white Aryan race must not perish on this earth. We are the Aryan Defenders. Oh, so not only are they queers, they're also Nazis. You mean white supremacists. Yeah, white supremacists, Nazis, same thing. Look, if it walks like a duck... Wait, what? I said if it walks like a duck, that's either a duck or or some kind of duck wearing some kind of human costume. I don't know. They can't hide their distinctive walk. Sis, how could that even work? How could what work? A duck wearing a human costume? The sizes are completely incompatible. Well, I don't know. Just You know, let me explain to these queers. Alright, like, I don't even know what you'd whole team's gimmick is like either you like kill minorities and just not do anything with white criminals like your costumes are looking like exactly like you're going to the moon or some shit if you don't surrender we'll be obligated to use lethal force <laughs> oh you guys are going to kill us wait you so you guys are going to kill us <laughs> so not only do you kill minorities if they do crimes you kill minorities who are teens who do crimes Man, no wonder you're so hated in the media. 
Yeah, and if you're, like, only doing this just to kill minorities, it's like, look, the police department is always hiring. You can kill all the minorities you want without any repercussions. But it just proves my point. You're willing to do anything. Anything for you to preserve your own agenda. Even killing my min- minors. Like, I'm 17 years old. I can't even legally vote yet. So what are you going to do? Kill a bunch of minors? And even if you do try anything on us, I hope you're curious to know what your own testicles taste like. Aaron Swordsman, killer. We'll hit yeah. Huh? Alright, now it's my turn. Here, ta! Alright, now which one of you tiki torch carrying soft look from the Goonies looking ass want to take a piece of me next? Da! <laughs> Beware of the hammer. Ah! <sighs> this hammer is made of nickel, the strongest metal on this earth. And you shall perish. Snow! Here! <laughs> huh? Oh my god, he just blew the hammer's head off! Oh, you guys are monsters! We need to get out of here, man! <laughs> What have I done? Sis! I shouldn't be here. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. God damn it! God damn it! Shit! Shit! Oh my head. Bro, can you please explain to me what happened back there? Um, bro? I... killed someone. What... what does that mean? Sis, I've... gone too far from what Lobitold taught us. And what does that mean? Sis... We need to cook. But first, we need a new lab. Alright, Monty, you better have those cheese that's ready. I'm going to answer the door. Um, hello? Um, kid, what are you doing? Nothing personal, sir. Just, just business. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell was that? This will do. You two over there. Uh, yes, us. You two are under new management. Now, cook us some rock candy. Uh, I, I, kid. Don't call me kid. Call me Heisenberg. I will do, sir. Now then, sis. Let us begin our new life. All right. Uh. Whoa, what a couple of assholes. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. Says she should know better not to touch the product. Cancer, come get your cancer. <laughs> um, did I go home now? We're done. When I say we're done. Oh
This is a bust. Get on the ground. Oh crap, bro. Uh, bro, why aren't you doing anything? Why aren't you putting your hands up? Well, it seems that you two have had a lot of time on your hands. But this has to come to an end now. Uh, bro, why aren't you doing anything? We need to get out of here. Hang on, sis. I'll deal with him. Greetings there, Mr. Blaze. How can we help you today? Well, the two of you are under arrest for violating your parole, murder, and selling illegal substance. Um, sir, this is actually just rock candy. Huh? What do you mean it's just rock candy? Come on, just taste it. Look, I am a good man. I do not taste illegal. Huh, you're right. I guess it is just rock candy. But it doesn't disclose the other two crimes you have committed. Oh, those Nazi bastards? Oh, they tried to kill us. My brother killed one of them, then they ran off. And so what, you guys are defending Nazis now? Yeah, aren't you guys supposed to, like, protect us or some shit? And here you are defending little Nazis and, like, like, if we were Asian, Black, or, like, Hispanic, and we committed, like, a murder or something, then you give us life? Or even worse, the death penalty. But if we're white, psh, you get, just get a slap on the wrist. That's exactly what you get. But hey, who cares what I think? I'm just a biracial, autistic 17-year-old girl. Who doesn't even know shit like that? And if there's anyone who get, deserves to get arrested, it should be T.T. Thompson and those intelligentsia punks who have been slandering us since day one, committing all sorts of acts of statistic terrorism against us. Like, the only things that they ever do is lie about us. Look, I've been improving until you bastards put me on house arrest. And because of those guys, my brother almost killed himself. So if there's anyone who deserves to be locked up, it's those two bastards. We ain't done nothing, bitch. So as you can see by my sister's statement, we're innocent. We haven't done anything wrong. We're just doing business. Now then, Agent Blaze, say my name. Uh, Tasuki. Yeah, goddamn right. Now, if you excuse us, we shall be on our way now. Not so fast, Tasuki. You forgot about one thing. Your mom. Um, bro, are you okay? Oh, it's all pointless, sis. I'm a failure since birth. I've always been a failure, sis. Hmm, that's what I thought. Load those two into the van. Alright, miss, you're coming with us. Get your filthy hands off of me, you... You damn dirty pigs! You dirty pigs! Hmm, it appears that Toyo and Tosuke have gotten themselves in a much bigger pickle than they already are in. And what even is Lobit doing to help them anyways? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.